Half five in the morning currently, and we're about to go to Disney because we're not. Bring me your stuff. Ignore Tim Trapper. Was that epic or what? Was it not? Enough of that. Sam's talking to himself in the shower. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. That was my Walt Disney voice. Well, I don't like it. Give me the ick. Today is our first day at Disneyland. At Disneyland. The original Waltz Park, which opened all the way back in 1955. And what makes this place special is not that it's tiny and you can get everywhere in just a few steps, but that Walt Disney himself actually came here. Pretty cool. California Adventure is just over the road. We'll do that later. We're going on the original park, which opened on July 17th, 1955, and I've been waiting ever since. So if you enjoy, please do subscribe. And did you know that over here on the right of the city hall is the fire department? I'll show you why that's interesting. That little window is where Walt Disney would stay when this park was being constructed and just behind it is the Jungle Cruise. That must have been a sweet ride. I mentioned that the Jungle Cruise is just behind there because not only does it display how compact and well structured this park is, but when Walt Disney would sleep up in his little apartment, he complained about the noise of the Jungle Cruise because it was like actual animal noises and being in the heart of the jungle at night. Little petite castle. You should see what Cinderella can afford down in Florida. You are actually a little bit taller than the castle. Anyway, I think we should start our day on a roller coaster. So let's go on Astro Orbiter. Tom, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. The Matterhorn bobsled, right on cue. It still isn't coming. the noise it makes. Oh, I fell over as soon as it came. Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's Alice in Wonderland. They've got a very similar ride in Blackpool. I think because Disney, Walt Disney, used Pleasure Beach as a bit of inspiration for some of the initial concepts for Disneyland. And he actually visited the Pleasure Beach. Don't know what that's got to do with Alice though. This is fast. That was the best one ever. Obviously, it's nowhere near the standard of roller coaster as Expedition Everest over at Animal Kingdom in Florida, but the Yetis were so cool. It was a bit jolty though. For the first steel tubular, what's it called? It's tubular steel roller coaster. It's like, it's not awful, but it's just, it's like, doof, 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 and it's just got a bit, the transitions just aren't very smooth. Yeah. Like especially there was one of the drops in there that I literally went like down the thing and I went like that and it cracked. You do almost. usually go down a thing on a drop. Shut up. Nothing can stop us now. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. If it breaks down. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh you all watching so beautifully. I'll leave that in the vlog just for your two friends. This ride has some cutting edge technology. Sorry about that. Jokes aside, it actually has, because it's a trackless ride system with, is it 1.5D? The animations, is it 1. Point, or is it 2.5D? Because it's not 3D, it's not 2D. Leave it in the comments below. Piggy great hits. That's a hog in it. That's a frog in <laughs> This little boat ride is so cute. And I love that we got Monstro, my favorite whale ever. When I was like three, I had a birthday cake with Monstro on it. 
big fan. Except for the puny castle. I do get it. It has a charm to it where it feels very authentic. Carousel's the same. I like that they got Mr. Toad's wild ride. Because they got rid of that in Magic Kingdom and I'm so sad about it. If I don't vlog it, it didn't happen. Got my first treat of the day. A doled whip. This is You might not even like it. You don't even I might. It. Well good. Buy some. Frontierland. Tom. Haunted Mansion. California style. And with a Halloween makeover. Fun fact, this is a very similar ride to what they have in Orlando at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. But over there at Walt Disney World, they do not do any overlays of the Haunted Mansion. And that is because they see it as more of a family holiday where people would go once in a lifetime. So they like to keep classic rides like this consistent all year round. Fun fact of the day, isn't it? I do think it looks even better than Splash Mountain. Good job, Tiana. Anyway, what did you think of the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay of the Haunted Mansion? Really enjoyed it. It was actually really good. Okay, I shouldn't have asked. I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> I loved it too. So on Smuggler's Run, the Millennium Falcon ride, you get given one of four different jobs. You get to be either a pilot, an engineer, or two other things. Tom, however, What's a flight attendant? How'd you get that job? I don't know, I just applied for it on Indeed. <laughs> on Indeed. He meant to say as a pilot, he's just an idiot. This is the best ride in the world. But I'm going to experience the rest of it with my own eyes. Tomorrowland. I must admit, as far as Tomorrowlands go, this is probably my least favorite. Theming's not the best. They do have a Space Mountain though. I think that's Space Mountain. I can't quite read the sign. Oh my God. Yeah, no, the state of you. No, move that finger immediately. <laughs> so we did that single rider, Space Mountain, and the person next to me just disappeared. So the person I was placed next to as a single rider, the lady just disappeared and you appeared. Yeah, but that's not even the weirdest bit. So when we, um, when we went on, um, I had to go on first. I was like two or three trains in front of Sam. Went in, strapped in, as we were walking down, um, no, walking down, as the train like dis uh, dispatched from the station, it just like, he stopped, and then the lady was like, you two need to get out, the person I, who I was sitting next to, just us two, the whole train, they were like, oh, basically it's unbalanced, so you're gonna have to go get back, we'll put you back on the next train. Anyway, so I walk out, and then literally just sit right next to Sam, so it's just like the weirdest single rider experience I've ever had in my life, because you had somebody next to you anyway. Yeah, and then they disappeared, I turned around, and, this little old lady became Tom. Yeah, that's me. What are we going on now? Space Ranger spin? We need to review it first. Call your jets. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good Space Mountain. I could tell that it that's had fun. the same layout as the Hong Kong one, but it felt faster because of a few Disney effects that I shall not spoil. However, the theming in there was incredible. And I think in terms of theming and smoothness of the roller coaster, that in those categories, that's the best one. I'm not sure overall if it's the best one, but there is an argument there. For me, best space mountain I've done. Better than Paris, mate. I don't like the Paris one. Walter Mickey are literally taller than the castle. Look at that. Even Mickey's nearly as tall as it. Big Thunder Mountain. Tom, turn around. This, this, remove them. Because this right here is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Shut up. Sorry. Tom, do you know what this side is? The right side? No, the wildest side in the wilderness. That was the wildest ride in the wilderness. We're going in Adventureland now. We're going on adventure. Adventureland theming is definitely my favorite. Wait, I think there was real life fire. 
There is real life fire. Oh, but there's tall men in the way. Real life flames. I actually love it. Oh, that's bizarre. That is my favorite ride in the world. Oh, close to that. Yeah, until October 4th. Oh, I go home on October 3rd. Yeah. No, I don't. I go home, <laughs> like, I go home like next week. Oh. This is so different. Oh, collision. I don't think a pirate's life is for me. I've reflected. Love the station with the ambience and the restaurant and the boats. Don't forget the boats. In that huge manner is Pirates of the Caribbean. But then if you pan over back into Adventureland, this little nook and cranny, this obscure corner, it's Indiana Jones. Why is it so obscure? I'm trying to make this one look epic because this is my most anticipated ride of the day. It's busy here. This is almost a mission trying to get in there. Another view of how compact this park is. Jungle Cruise is literally right there. And we're going in there. It's just like a donut. This is uh, food with Sam now. You didn't even do the review earlier. I forgot. Well, good. moment because I'm a wee bit overstimulated after that. All jokes aside, apart from Rise of the Resistance, that Indiana Jones is the Bye. best ride here. It's intense, it's so thrilling, and the effects in there are amazing. Tom agrees. Really good. Hi. Oh, do you know, it's not as good as Dinosaur because I just love Dinosaur. It as one but yes. that is a bloody incredible ride i do think that i actually think that is even better than dinosaur it's weird because i love dinosaur for the theme and like the nostalgia of dinosaur but i do think that is not a better ride but a better overall experience like the entrance to the tomb and stuff like that i think so i think the set pieces are more impressive in there and it's a oh yeah it's massive more coherent narrative to what you're doing there's you're exploring and trying to escape somewhere and there's so much crossover like you can see all the cars trying to like escape it and that like whereas dinosaur yeah. you're just on one path but that you like cross over many a time but there's a massive room in there that you like see multiple different things and like it's got that grandeur like to it it's it's, massive. it's huge yeah anyway i'm tired now yeah we're going in and out and in bed we'll do dca another day oh I'm going to do that slappy thing where we teleport. Teleport slap. I love what they've done with Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, I still prefer Tower of Terror, but that looks good. And it goes well with the surrounding area for Avengers. This is an epic shot. Look at that. And then Guardians of the Galaxy was actually amazing. Of course, it's not quite as good as Tower of Terror, but I really enjoyed the more goofy and fun comical side to it. Web Slingers, however, it's absolute turd. This Avengers campus in DCA, Disney's California Adventure, is nice, but it is lacking that main e-ticket attraction. However, in 2025, next year, they're going to begin construction on Avengers Infinity Defense, which is going to be a huge dark ride, which I'm super excited to just find out some more details about what it's going to be and then obviously ride it. And apparently they're building a second ride called Stark's Flight Lab. So leave it in the comments below if you have any knowledge or just have a guess at what these rides might be. Oh, look at that little boat there. This Incredicoaster is very special to me because not only is it a Disney roller coaster and an iconic one, at the, it should be, as long as I get on it, my 300th roller coaster credit. Here it comes. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Whoa. Wicked cool. Don't mind if I do. Roller 
roller coaster did not disappoint. The launch wasn't as powerful as I expected, but the rest of the layout was so fun. There was airtime, quite nice laterals, a fair bit of force, and the loop was quite intense. I've really enjoyed it. That is completely unhinged. Yep, that kid's traumatized. No, that was my favorite ride here. Only because you're lost. Huh? I said only because you're lost. You're in my car. Done the part now after that beautiful ride. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Ciao, legends. That was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. Sir Punalot would sound cool though.